The city of Indianapolis hasn't had a break from violence. Mm. Since Tuesday, five more people have been killed in Indianapolis. And all those numbers, they might seem kind of high when you hear it. We talked with IMPD today, and police tell us that the murder and the homicide numbers are still lower than they were at this time last year. So to learn more today, our Logan Gay went to have a conversation with the mayor and they talked about resolutions to the violence we're seeing now. The first few days of October have been tough for the city. Neighbors haven't had a break from gun violence, leaving many people questioning, why is this happening? At an event today, Mayor Joe Hoxett told 13 News, it's not a simple answer. It's multi or intergenerational poverty, lack of opportunity, lack of educational access. Improving education access is why Hoxett joined Martin University. As leaders announced, they are reducing tuition rates. They hope doing this will help be a part of the solution to the city's gun violence. Well, some people choose uh, a pathway to crime or choose to commit crimes uh, to be able to uh, really kind of get themselves out of a hole, if you will. Education provides an opportunity um, to expand one's capacity to choose, to compete, and to win. Hogsett also announced the recipients of elevation grants. Over the next three years, the initiative is investing $45 million in neighborhoods to address the root cause of violent crime in Indianapolis. It didn't increase overnight, and so we can't expect it to just be eliminated overnight. So far, there have been 163 murders in 2022, compared to 188 last year. The total number of homicide numbers also down, 174 compared to 201 in 2021. Hogshead admits the city has a ways to go, but he believes the community is moving in the right direction. As we clean those areas up, reinvigorate them economically, I think you're going to see a far east side uh, like it once was.